as a punter, I pride myself on complimenting the defense as much as I can. So when we let up 38 points, um, it was pretty disappointing. Uh, with that being said, I thought the special teams played pretty well. Um, the punt team played well. Um, the coaching staff does a great job of prioritizing special teams in practice um, and in meetings. So I think that uh, showed this weekend. Um, on the punt team, I thought uh, Garrett Grammer had a great, great game since his first game snapping. Um, showed a lot of poise. Um, we also covered really well. I mean, anytime you have like 50-yard punts, um, those are kind of a nightmare to cover, and especially when they're in the middle of the field. So uh, our cover team did really well. Um, and on that last kickoff, uh, I'll take responsibility for that one. Um, I got to kick it closer to the sideline. Kind of kicked it right up the middle. So uh, I'll work on that, and then we'll work on covering that one. Um, but that's about it for me. Can you talk? Can you talk about your thoughts on uh, the special teams you met, uh, after three games? Yeah, I thought we were doing well. I mean, we're definitely getting better, so it's nice to see us um, progressing. I mean, you can kind of see that in the net punting stats, which is kind of like the team punting stat. Um, this last game was our best game by far. Um, we're really covering the ball better, especially inside the 20. So that's good to see. After um, after losing the way you did against Stanford and U of H, how much does that hurt morale in light of the fact that a conference title is the actual goal? Yeah, well, we're lucky that we have some really good leadership on this team, um, especially with Trey Martin and Manuel Ellerby. Um, and they've done a good job of uh, keeping our spirits up and. I think we uh, still have a good chance of winning conference, and we're going to go out there and play hard this weekend. Is it easy to, to put the last game behind you when you're looking forward, or do you want to keep a little bit of that inside as, as motivation to say that's not us? Yeah, I mean, I, we always have motivation. We have plenty of motivation besides that game. Um, in my opinion, it's put it behind us and kind of work hard for the next game. Talk a little bit about your punting style, since we have a punter. Tell them we do we sell them get a punter up uh, to talk to on video. Uh, tell me a little bit. Do, do, do you do summer camps? Do you, uh, you know, let's just say to total layman, do you just kick the hell out of the ball every time you get back there, or is there more finesse, more strategy? Talk to me a little bit about your style. Yeah, so there's some strategy. Um, I mean, first of all, when you're in the middle of the field, you want to hit like an end over end punt. So I hold the ball like straight up and down. So the idea is I get it high and it hits the ground, either bounces sideways or backwards. Um, it doesn't always do that, but that's, that's the object. Um, and then with the open field punts, I'm trying to hit a spiral, uh, obviously as high as I can, but as far as I can as well. Um, and we're usually directing those towards the sideline. So uh, the less amount of the field that I can give the other team, the better, especially with the coverage unit. So uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm coming from in the punting. How much satisfaction do you get knowing that you can help the defense out and put them in a good spot? to do their job. Yeah, I, I really like that. And that's probably my favorite part about punting. Um, because, I mean, I, the defense is relying on me, and I'm relying on uh, a good snap and good coverage. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely not a one-man show out there, and I, I appreciate that. So going back to, uh, did you, like, go to one of these Ray Guy-type camps? I mean, how does one become a punter other than just getting in, in, out in an open field and, and, and punting? Uh, is, is there, you know, technique that you go to right, special? Right. Yeah, so actually my dad was a, like, he was a punter in college at a small D3 go. school. Mm -hmm. um, so he kind of showed me stuff when I was growing up. And then I went to this camp called Cole's Kicking Camp, which is a national camp. And they uh, are kind of instrumental uh, camp in recruiting. And then even in college, I'm getting to the next level in the NFL. Um, so I've been going to those camps. I went to them this summer. Um, they do a great job of just, like, kind of teaching the finer points of punting. Um, but other than, other than that, um, I really pride myself on kind of being self-taught. Um, I, I think the best way to learn how to punt or kick is just watch YouTube videos and get out there and work through it yourself. And once you feel it, you feel it. So um, you can have someone tell you what to do all day, but once you get out there and really do it on your own, that's where I, at least I really feel like I'm learning a lot.